I recently took my first ride in a Waymo, no driver and fully autonomous. As I got in, the car greeted me, which was kind of nice. Good afternoon, Jess. As we took off, a short one minute video played covering rider safety tips and how to contact support. The ride itself, surprisingly calm. It handled stops, turns, and traffic like a competent human driver. Although the steering wheel did look a bit janky and robotic while turning, but the turns were still smooth. From the center console screen, you could see it tracking everything in real time, from cars, bikes, pedestrians, similar to Tesla's visualization system. Aside from pressing the start ride button, I didn't have to touch or press anything else, except maybe the media controls if I wanted to play some music. I just sat back and enjoyed the ride. Right before I arrived, the car gave a friendly reminder to grab my things before exiting. Don't forget your phone, keys, or wallet. It found a safe spot to park, and that was it. Ride complete. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. Compared to Tesla's FSD, the overall ride experience felt surprisingly similar, except there was no one in the driver's seat. While Tesla's system can go almost anywhere, it still needs supervision. With Waymo, you're not supervising, you're just a passenger. If Tesla cracks full autonomy soon, and Waymo keeps scaling, they could be the two dominant players in the robotaxi race.